I'm going to be recording for you intro to physical assessment online. This is not a difficult course. You will just need to stay on track. Uh, every week I will post new assignments on Tuesdays at 830. You will have the full week to complete the assignments. Don't panic. Uh, I know it's due at the same time as your other course, uh, but it is not that difficult of material. For the most part, this is going to be one huge review for most of you who are in this course who already took this first semester uh, within the course. For others of you, this is new, but again, not to panic. I will go over things with you and help you as we go along. If you have any questions or concerns during this course, do not hesitate uh, to email me or to call me at any time, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, so you know to go into um, www.uaccb.edu. Once you get into there, you know to go to my uh, UACCB, log into my UACCB, and then connect to Blackboard. You will not have to use Respondus for this course. All exams and quizzes will be open book and open note. I will release each exam or quiz the uh, next week after everyone has completed uh, and taken that exam or quiz. Uh, so without further ado, we'll get started. Alright, so I'm going to open it up and when you open your course it will pop up and look like this with the home page showing. On the home page there will be announcements and you can see there I have an announcement for you that will show you how many things have been put in the content module and that you have a course message which you can read. Uh, over on this side you will see the tabs. There's the home page and then the next one will be student resources. If you click, click on the student resources you will find the syllabus and the outline. When you click on the syllabus and the outline the 2015 health assessment syllabus will pop up and we will go over that. This is a three credit hour course. Of course we're teaching it in the fall. The week begins each Tuesday at 830 with new content. You will use the physical uh, exam and health assessment, 6th edition, 2012. They did just come out with a new edition this semester, but I'm using the older uh, edition because most of the students had already purchased this book. So make sure you're using the right edition. Prerequisites, you must have either a current RN license, be enrolled in a registered nursing program, or my permission. So make sure if you're in this course that you fit one of those criteria. Upon completion of the course, the objectives, you're going to have to be able to obtain health histories from a child, adult, or geriatric patient. Execute lifestyle risk factors assessment for identified patients. Compile health teaching materials. Perform a mental health status exam. Adapt physical exam techniques. Uh, evaluate assessment needs and perform a physical head-to-toe assessment. Now, instructional methods will vary. We'll do case scenarios, written assignments, supplemental resources, quizzes, exams, critiquing of YouTube, just various assignments weekly. Again, new content will present it each week per the course schedule, and I'll show you the course schedule here in a little bit. You are considered absent if you fail to complete or submit a quiz or assignment before the weekly deadline. All absences will result in a grade of zero for that week's graded assignments and quizzes regardless unless prior arrangements and approval have been made with the instructor. So if you know you're going to miss, you need to get with me. The grading course outline for this course goes by the general uh, outline and grading criterion uh, for the general uh, campus, 90 to 100, 80 to 89, 70, and 60. Uh, only the final course will be rounded up and down. All the others will remain the, uh, the same. How is your grade computed? The online quizzes and assessments is 40%. The comprehensive final exam is 20. And the head-to-toe physical exam is 40. Failure to score at least a 70 for the head-to-toe physical exam will result in failure of the course. I have not ever had that, so you're okay. Don't panic. The comprehensive final exam will be delivered via Blackboard. You'll be allowed one attempt. You have to do it within the allotted time and before the due date ends. No late submissions on the final exam. And it's open book, open note. The head to toe physical exam, the student will bring their own patient for checkoff or you can do it, uh, do this um, via recording. It can be a family, a friend, no children. 
The patient, if when they are doing it, whether you're doing it in a recording or here, should be in shorts and a t-shirt or something similar. A bathing suit can be worn sports bra and shorts. The point is to be able to access all body regions without exposing too much, particularly the breast and genitalia. If you want, to, again, to record a video of your checkoff and submit it for a grade instead of coming to campus, all you have to do is contact me and we will work that out, no problems. Uh, we will provide, if you're on campus and doing it, the necessary equipment that you will need. Um, you'll need to only bring your own stethoscope. It is your responsibility to gather equipment when you arrive prior to checkoff. Again, if you choose to perform it via recording, then it's your responsibility to make sure that you have the equipment needed. Uh, online quizzes will be given during Blackboard and due on the date. You have to return them in by the due date or you get a zero. Uh, various learning activities will be made available for student use in studying and comprehending the course content. Uh, the career and disability policy, I'll let you read over that on your own. The uh, ADA grievance procedure, if you do have a disability and you want me to consider that, please get with me by this first week of instruction. Uh, don't forget State Board of Nursing, make sure you have criminal background checks prior to licensure. And then that takes us down to our physical exam checkoff guidelines. You will have 45 minutes by memory to perform a head to toe assessment. You, it tells you here the criteria for passing and it tells you the criteria here for failing and you can read over that. So what's involved with this one and I will be doing a um, video uh, before the time it's time to do this uh, and I may or I may do it in sections but I will provide you some feedback on how to do this whole thing before you come. You want to turn in a copy of your write-up which is your head-to-toe write-up not the head not the history and physical just the head-to-toe write-up on this part we will do the uh, other part uh, during the course. It says you can use pages 784 and 785 as a guide for your write-up uh, but modify it to include only the information required below. Uh, you want to begin all the physical assessment with the general survey, uh, the section on vital signs and washing your hands, and don't forget to introduce yourself. So, of course, for 10 points, you would need to do these things. Uh, for 7 points, you go over the skin assessment, and you can see here it's a detailed skin assessment, uh, including inspection and palpation. Then it goes into the nails, the hair, the head, the ears, uh, internal and external, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the neck, the lungs, the breast, the cardiovascular, the peripheral vascular, and the abdomen. Then the musculoskeletal and the neuro. And again, don't panic. I will go over each one of those individually as I get ready to go through the course. The last thing you'll find in your syllabus is the outline. This is how the course is set up. You can see here week one starts at 826 and ends 91. It's over introductions chapter one and chapter two. Uh, it's due by September the 1st at 830 and you, it says quiz and or other learning activity. And I will show you how to see what your activity is for that day. We will continue till we go through the whole book and then weeks 12 through 14 You'll actually sign up for your physical assessment or it can be conducted on, uh, to be conducted on campus or your video needs to be turned in during this time frame. Uh, everything has to be due by November 24th at 8.30. Finals will be 12.7 through 12.8. It will open at 8.30 on 12.7 and close at 12.8 at midnight and it is a final comprehensive exam on all the chapters. But again, that's not diffi that difficult. It's open book, open note. Um, Alright, and that's an overview of that. The next thing is content modules. If you go to content modules, you can see here we have introductions and then all of your weeks are listed below. And then of course the final exam, you're finishing the fine, finish line. So if you start here on introductions and you were to open it, discussion board is here. And then it tells you, introductions, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Please tell us why you're taking this course, what are your inspiration and goals in nursing, and where do you stand on the following question, is health care a right or a privilege? Then you can see here chapters 1 and 2. 
It says, please refer to the content module week one and you will find the objectives and assignments and instructions for this post for this week. Total points available for week one is 30 points. So that tells you in discussion what to expect. So if I go back to content module, again, introductions, and then week one is chapters one and two. You can see here I'm going to have to link to the discussion board again, but I also have the objectives and the assignment listed for each time. For chapter one and two in introductions, it tells you here your objectives. Then it will tell the assignment for each week. For this week, there's no quiz or assignment. You will only be discussion, doing discussion posts. Uh, please spend some time reading the chapters and applying the information to your answers. When you respond in the discussion, refer to the book or something you've read. So you can say, according to Jarvis, da 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 da, page such and such. In other words, include your reference. If it's something in the discussion board that you didn't think the book covered well enough and you went outside and got an outside uh, resource, woohoo! But you need to make sure you give credit for that resource. Um, you will be responsible in the discussion post four. So here's what your responsibilities are for week one. And I told you it was worth 30 points. 10 points just for doing the introduction. Then you get 10 points for responding to the original question that I have posted. The original post question will be due by Sunday at midnight. This will allow others time to read your post and respond to it for the new content to be introduced on Tuesday, 10 points. Responding to at least one other classmate's post, it has to be a post that provokes critical thinking and adds something to the post. Now, yes, I agree with you. Oh, that's good. Way to go. Nothing like that. Post something that uh, it sparks curiosity. These posts are due by Tuesday at 8.30, the one that you post to another uh, person, our classmate. When new cl content starts for full credit to be awarded, 10 points. And then, of course, your introduction is 10 points, so you can get a total, easy total of 30 points this week just by doing those three things. Uh, as far as uh, discussion for those chapters 1 and 2, if you go to discussion board, it will take you right back to the discussion. Please refer to the content module if you click on the red chapter 1 and 2, chapter 1 and 2, and you can see here that I have posted your names and I have posted your discussion question. So all you have to do is push reply and you will you can reply to either this post or you can actually start a new thread if you want to do it that way either way. All right. The only thing I ask is when you reply that you put your name and that you put the topic above it. So just copy and paste, like if Simi was doing hers, she would copy and paste this, she would put that at the beginning of her post, and then she would actually uh, answer her post. That way everyone knows who you are, and they know what question you are responding to. All right, uh, the rest of this, uh, course messages is what you will check whenever you want to see if there's any messages in the inbox. And again, I have sent you guys one you can read. Uh, discussion board, you can get to the discussion board by clicking this way as well, or I have included the links under each content module. Groups, tools, and help you will not be using. And then exam and quizzes, as you can see, I don't have any posted. But if you were to go like next week under content module and it said there was going to be an exam or quiz, then you would go to exam and quizzes to find that exam or quiz. And that's all you need to know to pass this course. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.